Hello everyone. I am Dr. Hamad Adar and you are watching scardia.com. Today our topic is the hand deformities. We will be discussing different problems of the hand, especially some of them which may be related to problems of the old age like uh, different other issues and some of them which may be associated with acute trauma and tendon and other facial injuries. We will be starting our discussion with the Dupton's contracture. As you know, it uh, mainly involves in the 5th to 7th, 5th to 6th and 7th decade of life. Usually, it is more common with the diabetics, alcoholics and antileptics. It is actually proliferation. It is a benign disorder which leading to proliferation of myofibroblasts, leading to formation of cords in the facial uh, normal fascicles of the hand and leading to increased uh, contracture, especially the PIP joint. From then, we will, after discussing the treatment of the Dupton contractures, we will moving on. We will briefly discuss the Walkman ischemic contractures, which is one of the devastating complications of the compartment syndrome. Usually, once it develops, there is not much we can do, but we need to prevent the formation of compartment syndrome of the forearm. And how we can prevent it is actually by uh, making sure that there is no pain out of proportion during the fracture to radius ulna and there is no pain increased pain on the passive stretch and we can measure the compartment pressures to patient relieve the patient of for initially eventually developing the walkman ischemic contractures then we were discussing certain injuries of the tendon that is the mallet finger which is actually the uh, distal force uh, part of the lateral two bands of the extensor tendon which are actually attached on the uh, distal pharynx if they get ruptured this leads to hyperflexion of the distal interpharyngeal joint which is due to the unopposed pull of FTP leads to mallet finger from then we will be also briefly discussing what happens in ruptured extensor pallasus longus or uh, ruptured EPL which may be associated with trauma or POP uh, for, which is given for the distal radius or it may be associated with the degenerative disease such as rheumatoid arthritis. Then we will be discussing uh, the two deformities, one is the botanier and then the swan leg deformity. Botanier deformity is due to the damage of the central slip of the extensor tendon as this damage leads to the lateral slips actually fall down and act as a flexor with FDS also acting as a flexor. This leads to hyperflexion of the proximal interphalangeal joint. Now, then after that, we move on to swan neck deformity. Swan neck deformity is actually a hyperextension of the PAP with flexion of the DAP joint. This may be due to either ex hyperactive extens extensics or there may be uh, uh, lacerated FTP or FTS or there may be injury to palmar plate uh, which may be discontinued to rheumatoid arthritis or trauma and this may all lead to swan neck deformity. From then onward we will be discussing briefly the trigger finger or it is also called as the stenosing tenosynovitis in which there is inflammation and a nodule is formed and actually as the tendon glides past the A1 pulley the patient complains that actually the tendon catches or actually results in triggering of the tendon when especially during the movement of the fingers. We will briefly discussing the two very important diseases of the hand that is the rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. We will be briefly discussing the deformities which may be associated with the rheumatoid arthritis especially the zigzag deformity of the uh, distradial joint, carpal bones, metacarpals as well as the fingers and what is the uh, treatment of usually acute disease established disease and even the late treatments or which may involve eventually orthoplasty or orthodesis from then onwards we will moving on to osteoarthritis and briefly discussing how the osteoarthritis in hand presents what are the main joint it gets affected with especially the proximal interphalangeal joint and distal interphalangeal joint we will be discussing Bouchard and Haberdeen nodes and what is actually the treatment of osteoarthritis especially once it has progressed beyond the stage of the uh, medical treatment then usually the treatment of choice is either the arthroplasty that is the replacement of PIP or DIP or you involve the fusion or orthodesis of distal interphalangeal joint then we form our word we'll move to uh, acute infections of the hand we'll be discussing paronychia that is the infection of the nail bed or the Raynaud's disease or the infection of the pulp or the phenol and then from then onwards we'll be discussing in details the treatment which is maybe required to uh, get rid of the patient's hand infection 
for more videos if you log on to www.scadia.com and you can have multiple uh, orthopedic videos and other uh, subject videos over there as well and for orthopedic videos there is a plethora of there available so keep watching scadia.com thank you very much